In this video, let's have a look at the Coriatus larvae. They have already pupated around four months ago. Mostly, it's written here on the on this label, first of December. The larvae started to pupate, but I don't know whether it's still living or not. There's a little hole in here, so we will see. I oh, know that it's here. It's written check first of May. Now it's first of April. We wait a month and check this one. I already looked for it. It was a pupa uh, two weeks ago. Now when did it pupate? First of December also. So we can have a look whether it's already an adult or it's still a pupa. And of course we have to be a little bit careful doing so. Now here we see the pupil chamber and I see from here that the uh, adult has already emerged. It, I see some uh, legs of it. So let's make it uh, very carefully here so that you can see it also how I open it. Now probably can show you uh, one other trick of this if, if it's uh, completely hidden in the soil, it's, uh, it's like it has the form of an egg and in the middle there's a stripe around this egg. So now I will break it open here and look what comes out. It's the bottom side and the back side of the... is not very good now at the moment it has just emerged trying to stretch the wings I have to put it back immediately so that is not that it's not a fault uh, later but probably I will take it out and put it into this uh, peat pots so that there's no sand in it that can disturb the process of stretching the wings and making them covered up in the elytras. Now this is very freshly emerged so I have to put it back very carefully and I have to close it again with this kind of... but it has the form of an egg like the structure of the original chamber afterwards and I put it back into the soil here of course like this so that the animal can finish its molting process it is already out of the pupil uh, skin but it just uh, didn't finish the folding of the wings underneath the elytra so we have to wait for another two weeks and then Go back and have a look later. And that's what I'm writing here. Check 15th of April for this animal. Now we take another one. It's practically the same data. The pupa started 1st of December. And we will have a look at, at the stage in which we find it now. So, so this is not yet this is not yet an adult so I feel it when I um, carefully turn the pupil chamber around so you, you feel what is inside and I'm putting it back now again and wait also for another two weeks uh, to go back to this uh, animal and check it again so and I have to fill it up with the sandy soil here and make it a little wet so that's what happens in nature too at the end of the time um, just before they emerge from the pupil chamber it starts the rain it started the rainy season in Africa so that's why they like to have a wet um, a white sand around them as soon as they come out of the 
poo poo champ. Now another one, probably the same. Also, this was uh, a pupa. He starts building the pupa 25th of November. That's practically. So I'm not sure. It seems to me that this is old. This is um, must be. But I try to open it now. Must be um, a pupa, or what can be also that it's dead inside. Let me have a look what it is. So we can show here the purple chamber, this little egg. And we have a look. So and if it's um, it's it's a it's a pupa, you we see it from here. It's not yet emerged. So I will do now the same as I did with the others. It's also moving inside, so I see that it's still living. And I just put it back into one of these wet little peat pots. So I don't disturb it more as I don't open it up completely, but leave it in here. Make it wet so the animal um, is not drying out. The pupil phase is, uh, is the most critical one, probably in the life cycle of the Goliath people. So it's, it's very different to decide whether it's uh, wet enough or it's too dry. And now we want to see whether there's an animal. It's 27th of November, it was in here. We check another one, the last one. It would be nice to see. It would be nice to see. Uh, an, uh, an adult. This is a pretty big chamber. I don't know whether it's already. It seems that it's already uh, an adult here. And uh, we. I try to open it now very carefully, and have a look. But now this is. Not, yeah. Though, yeah. It's the skin of the uh, probably here that I see. Yeah. It's the skin. It must be already. Multi, so I take the skin of the pupa out now here. It's very very freshly molted. You see the back of this animal. Um, I, I open it now. I have to transfer it later. No, I don't open it because the wings are not uh, folded yet. You see the wings on this side uh, on the, and on the other side and the animal has to put them back on the knees no, what is it? What is it? The wings? I would yeah. leave it if yeah, I were it's you. It's the wings. Yeah, it's the wings. So I put it back. This, from the size of the pupil chamber, I would guess it's a male because it's uh, pretty big. And now we put it back. So I hope that we could find um, an adult that is already completely emerged. We have one more left to show and then um, we step on. You know that I started making um, a playlist in English and I have the other Goliathus playlist in German also. So if you want to see what happens with the next box of animals, you go to the German playlist and watch there because I'm starting to I'm, I'm starting to dig out the rest of this box in the German part of the of the playlist. So now, also this seems to be still a pupa from the movement it makes inside. So I don't open it now. And if you want to see whether there is a larvae that has already molded to an adult in the other box here. We just go to the German part in the playlist of the Goliathus and you will see there what is inside the other box. Thanks for watching.